opportunity. Right, and you've both back. pointed out there are racial disparities there, and that's part of what you want to do, reforming the war on drugs. Senator Paul, in your view, is the enforcement of the war on drugs racist? Well, I think in, it has a racial outcome, I think is a better way to put it. I don't think, I think it's inadvertent, so I don't think everybody's plotting to make it that way. But you can't escape the facts that, uh, you know, three out of four people in prison are black or brown for drug problems. And frankly, I think it has to do with several things. It's easier to arrest people who live in poverty. It's easier to arrest people who live close together. It's easier to arrest people where there are more patrols going on. Mm -hmm. And then we also give government grants to the police force based on arrest and conviction records. So you think it's accidentally racist? Well, yeah, I think it has a racial outcome, and that's one reason. We should fix it whether it did or didn't have a racial outcome. But because it has a racial outcome, I think there's even stronger motivation that, you know, if I told you, you know, 10 people were being put to death that were black for every one, you'd, you'd be concerned would there be a racial element to that. Yeah, I think it should give us more drive to fix the problem. But the problem, really, of the war on drugs is taking a lot of people who make youthful mistakes. It's punishing them for a lifetime. And I think if we can get them back into both voting as well as working— mm -hmm. They're much less likely to get in trouble. And yet, Senator.